Not an unusual sight in today's world, elderly people dependent on walking aids. It's already the case today that one in five Germans is a senior citizen and has reached the age at which, for the first time in their lives, they may require assistance devices to carry out everyday tasks. To enable citizens to cope with the challenge of growing restrictions in their mobility and to allow them to lead independent lives in their accustomed surroundings for as long as possible, Fraunhofer IPA has spent over 10 years developing the Carobot service robot. As a product vision, Carobot is designed to demonstrate how a robot can be used to provide everyday assistance around the home. The assistance provided might look something like this. From the comfort of our armchair, with just a few touches of the display, the user can instruct the robot to bring her something to drink. Carobot is programmed to know just where the different items of food and drink are kept in the user's home. Sensors enable it to detect the position of the required drink on the kitchen counter. It can then grasp the bottle with its robotic arm. Using its tray back in the living room, Caro Bot safely and intuitively serves the drink the lady has ordered. Family members too can use the services of the robot to assist their relative. This allows them to check that all is well even in cases where, say, the elderly person lives in a different part of town. For this purpose, they can remotely control Carobot and use the robot's cameras to take a look around their loved one's home. I got the photo, thank you. I've already set it up. Oh, now I can see it on the closet. It looks great. The robot can independently plan and execute a wide range of different fetch and carry tasks to order. Sometimes, however, it too comes up against the limits of its abilities. For example, if objects are arranged too close together or if the lighting is poor. In such cases, another solution is to hand. If Carobot is unable to unambiguously identify or grip an object with the user's permission, it has the option of getting in contact with a service center. From there, a member of staff can remotely command the robot to execute an appropriate arm motion to enable it to complete its task. Yet, Carobot can do much more than just fetch and carry things. In addition to providing general assistance with everyday tasks, such as making appointments with doctors or tradesmen, with the robot's help, the service center can offer a comprehensive range of functions. For instance, the robot can not only go and fetch a blood pressure monitor at the required times, but if necessary, it can also explain how to use the device correctly. The robot sends the readings directly to the service center where the data is stored. Any critical developments are identified immediately and the required response is initiated. One of the main reasons why people with impaired mobility are no longer able to live alone in their own home is fear of falling and the related consequences. This risk can be addressed by the installation of a fall detector, which sends an alert in case of an emergency, allowing assistance to be promptly provided. In that case, Carobot makes its way automatically to the place where the fall has occurred. At the same time, the service center becomes involved. Trained members of staff are able to use the robot's cameras to make an initial assessment of the situation and to talk to the person who has just fallen. If necessary, they can immediately call an emergency service and also provide the necessary patient information, such as recent blood pressure measurements or information on any allergies. While waiting for the emergency service to arrive, staff at the service center can act to calm the person who has just fallen. Alternatively, they can instruct the robot to fetch the person a drink or a pillow until help finally arrives.